Nvidia better uncancel that 4090 Ti and even that might not be enough. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Oh, you guys know I love nothing more than talking about new GPUs, and today might be the most exciting day to talk about new graphics cards possibly ever because these two new GPUs that could be coming out from AMD look absolutely insane. In fact, they're so good that when I started crunching the numbers, I was shocked. I was like, there's no way it could be this fast. But yeah, they might actually be this fast. But what am I talking about? Well, let's first go ahead and start off with where I got this information. And it all originates from a videocards.com article where the rabbit hole starts and in that article, they actually have a quote from Dr. Lisa Su, AMD CEO, which they got during a quarter to 2023 earnings call, where she had this to say about some potential upcoming Radeon RX 7000 series GPUs. Quote, we are on track to further expand our RDNA 3 GPU offerings with the launch of new enthusiast class Radeon 7000 series cards in the third quarter. So guys, yeah, enthusiast class, that definitely signifies to me that they're gonna be launching some very high performance cards. I mean, just if you take a look at this right now, what you're gonna notice is typically AMD refers to the 7900 series as enthusiast class. And to add more credence to this as to why I believe they could be launching even faster GPUs than the 7900 XT and XTX very soon is because, well, if you remember, we actually did get a leak not too long ago from an open source Rock M software leak. And in that leak, what you're gonna notice is that there is listed a 7950 XT and 7950 XTX. Not only that, but they also had listed RX 7600 XT, which now we know is the 7600, but there's clearly some stuff on here that I believe at the time hadn't launched yet that we now know is definitely launching. So it seems like that was a pretty legitimate leak, and I believe it was even asked to be taken down, which gives it even more credence. Now, maybe some of the names will change as we get closer to the launch of these cards, but this definitely makes me believe that we're probably talking about some very, very fast video cards here guys and not only that to lend even more credence to the idea that even faster gpus could be coming go ahead and take a look here guys at tsmc's website straight from their website they talk about their new node that was developed not too long ago n4p where they say quote as the third major enhancement of tsmc's five nanometer family n4p will deliver an 11 percent performance boost over the original n5 technology and a six percent boost over n4 compared to n5 n4p will also deliver a 22 percent improvement in power efficiency as well as a 6% improvement in transistor density. In addition, N4P lowers process complexity and improves wafer cycle time by reducing the number of masks. Now, the reason as to why I'm talking about N4P is because currently I believe AMD is producing their cards on the regular N5 technology, five nanometer wafers. Now, if they move over to this N4P, which should be pretty easy for them to transition over to, and what I do believe they will be actually producing these cards on, they could very easily get a pretty substantial performance jump, especially if they just slightly increase their power limit on their top end SKU. We could be talking about a lot more performance. How much more? We'll talk about that in just a second, but there's another thing straight from another manufacturer that definitely also lends credence to the idea that AMD could definitely be releasing some much faster cards very soon, this time coming from Samsung's own website, in regards to their memory. It states here 24 gigabits per second, memories, high speed makeover, and they got a really nice image on screen here, guys. And the reason as to why this is important is because the 7900 series right now is using 20 gigabits per second memory. And as I'm gonna show you on screen, not only is Samsung advertising 24 gigabits per second, but you can currently purchase it right now in 16 gigabit versions, which means 
If you do the math, that means every single module that you put on the PCB would technically house two gigabytes per module. Now, two gigabytes per module on a 384-bit bus does give you, in theory, up to 24 gigabytes of memory, the same amount of memory on the 7900XTX. So what do all these enhancements give you in terms of the type of GPU AMD could build? How fast would it really be? Well, if we go ahead and take a look at this chart that I've thrown together, what you're gonna notice here is that first starting off with the slightly lower end 7950XTX, on the N4P node, we could easily be talking about a very quick 12% performance increase. Not a lot, but hey, I'll take 12% if it's not really gonna cost you more power. However, if they choose to slightly increase the power and really chase those higher clocks, we could be talking about here, guys, if we take a look at the specs of what I believe is gonna be called the ARC 7970 XTX, probably gonna be called the three gigahertz edition for nostalgia's sake, or at least they should be calling it that. Yeah, on the N4P node, we could be talking about an easy 20% performance uplift with the same basic specs as the 7900 XTX. It would just be a slight makeover on a new node with new memory. We're talking around three gigahertz boost clock, the same 24 gigabytes of memory. However, this time running at 24 gigabits per second on the 384-bit bus for 1,152 gigabytes per second. At just, I believe it would cost around 400 watts for the TDP. So that would be an increase, but it's still less than the RTX 4090. But guys, one thing I want you guys to know about the ARC 7900 series is that they are memory bandwidth starved, first of all, and they are power starved. And if you overclock them, they increase in performance like crazy, especially on the 1% and 0.1% lows, at least in my testing. In fact, in Overclock 7900 XTX, in my testing in the games that I currently play, was actually giving me very similar 1% and 0.1% lows to an RTX 4090. And so, of course, if we take a look at this chart once again, the 7970 XTX just at stock would likely be giving you around the same performance as an RTX 4090. But guys, it gets way, way more impressive because if you were to buy an AIB model, assuming it scales like the 7900 XTX does on this new node, we could be talking about a card that not only reaches three gigahertz boost clock, as I can currently do 3.2 on a 7900 XTX right now, so that's not super crazy. If you give it a lot more power, yeah, we could be talking around 3.5 on the low end to possibly as high as 3.75 gigahertz on that boost clock. That is absolutely insane. And then also the memory speed could be brought up from around 24 gigabits per second to roughly probably somewhere around 26.5 gigabits per second, giving you a total memory bandwidth of 1,272 gigabytes per second. And in terms of performance, 3.75 gigahertz. Now do keep in mind, this would be with like 600 watts or more. So it's gonna draw a lot of power. But in terms of performance, we could be talking around 50% higher performance in theory versus the regular 7900 XTX. That is so much more performance, guys, that it would actually eclipse the RTX 4090 by a significant margin as long as ray tracing is off. And not only that, but even the RTX 4090 Ti would still likely fall short of an overclocked 7970 XTX. In fact, an overclocked RTX 4090 Ti would be the only thing that would give you roughly the same amount of performance because guys, these cards, again, overclock like mad when you throw extra power at them. So this is why I'm so excited about these cards because if this does turn out to be that we're gonna be seeing a 7950 XTX and 7970 XTX soon, which I think definitely could happen, they are going to be crazy fast in a massive upgrade over the current 7900 XTX. Now, of course, this information from videocards.com could be referencing stuff like the 7800 and 7800 XT and possibly 7900 GRE. Maybe AMD's talking about that, but even if they aren't talking about the 7950 XTX and 7970 XTX right now, and they don't come out maybe in the next couple of months, I do think these cards definitely will be coming out at some point in time. If not soon, then it's gonna be probably by the beginning of next year, I would say probably to combat Battle Mage and put them just that much further ahead as well as make AMD look a lot better, especially if it's not really gonna cost a whole lot more money or power to do so. It just seems like it all lines up, it all makes a lot of sense. And so that's why I believe that these cards definitely will be coming out at some point in time, or at the very least, I certainly hope they do because 
AMD, if there's anyone watching over there, you guys have absolutely got to pull out a win if you want more people to try out your cards because it's been too many generations in a row where you've lost to Nvidia. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think the 7950 XTX and 7970 XTX are gonna actually happen? Or do you think these are just delusions of grandeur? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Also, if you wanna talk to me directly about this sort of stuff, and you also wanna see some behind the scenes content, do please go ahead and check out my Patreon linked in the description below so you can get access to the Discord. It's honestly, a really great community. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.